Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and watching CJ our video. Today we will make this kind of chain effect in Unreal Engine Niagara. This chain is all created using particles. These are per particle and you can modify it. You can change the rotation. You can change the height. Lots of things you can do with this. So let's start this tutorial. Let's start this. So I have this map with this slender. So we want to make the chain around it. So what you have to do here is let's make a Niagara first. I'll take the empty. And it's chain effects and we also need a mesh for the chain so let me just find a static mesh chain if I have yeah this one so this is one part of chain we can use that per particle okay so this type of mesh you can create it's simple to make in any 3d software you can also make it in an unreal engine set so let's come here in the Niagara I'll take the minimal emitter and let me just use it as once and it should never die so in the particle update turn this off and then I'll just take the burst now you have one particle that will never die so if you have multiple particles like 10 these are spawning on each other overlapping so if you take the shape location you can now see all these particles instead of this instead of this you have this position you can offset but these all will offset together in any axis if you want like uh, that this should apply per particle so it should be a multiplier per particle so what you can do you can break this vector into the floors like if i type break vector and then if you connect execution index id in any of these axes and increase the value you can see now you have all your particles you turn this off so you can see all your 10 particles and this is the distance between so the gap between them is equal you can use the same thing in any axis so this is how you can do so let's say you delete this sprite render take the mesh and i'll take uh, this one so i'll just browse this and i'll use that here so you have this mesh and see the gap is too much so you can decrease the gap like this so you have chain but this is not exactly how a chain should be so it should be a little overlap like here and then there should be rotation in alternatively so if i connect here in take a module initial mesh orientation and don't use random use this you can rotate it on in this axis but i want this like alternative particle so what i'll do i'll just break this and i'll use uh, like i want 0 and 0 0.25 90 degree so i'll just take the lerp in the lerp i will use here let's say module and then i'll take the execution index turn this off and i'll put 0 0.25 here and these are 10 particles let's say 10 10 here and that's all done cool so because module giving you 0 1 0 1 alternatively and it's applying on 0 it's applying 0 rotation in 1 it's applying 0.25 then same thing and now you can just increase this and you have the chain now you want to rotate it like a spiral around a slender so let's say i'll make this local and drag it here let me turn this off drag it into the viewport and you have this chain which is very small we cannot see that so first thing uh let me change the size uh, mesh size maybe two times bigger and then we can change the gap yeah now we can see that although we can make it like three times bigger yeah it this one better cool now we want to make a spiral and before spiral let's apply a cool material so we can visualize it properly because this is not like very much attractive so I'll just apply a very basic material like the thumbnail you shown. So I'll just apply that. So let me make M 
chain and what I'll do is it should be metallic so we can make metallic one then I'll take just a fill nail and color I'll make a little darker specular is okay you can decrease it if you want and I'll take this fresh nail and I'll use the different settings so it will give me just those edges we can increase it maybe 5 then multiply it with the particle color so we can change the color in the particles and I'll just save it so if you know if you want anything else or you want to ask anything you can just comment below the video so I'll just browse this and here I will just override the material here and let's make this as my thumbnail little bluish you can increase this brightness maybe 20 looks cool and this looks cool here although the final setting uh, we can change we can just choose it maybe three or we can just make a parameter to control it using a dynamic parameter or you can use this alpha which is not using anywhere so yeah okay this one is fine so now we want to make a spiral so to make a spiral i will just disable this position we don't want that so i will disable this and now these all are overlapping but we have the rotation so i'll turn off the rotation also now these are all overlapping and then i'll take the shape location and then i'll use the slender and we have the height and radius and distribution is random so i will use in uh, direct and then here i will use execution index and see we have this and with this we can make this ring and to make this spiral uh, what i'll do i'll also add execution index here and this will be actually our height so this will be our height so basically if you have like uh, 100 particles and you have these things you can increase this to make it spiral like this and this is height okay so like this much now we want to work on the rotation so first thing these should all face the normals of the slender so i'll take the initial mesh orientation i have one more that is disabled let it be so i'll take this instead of random i'll go to vector and connect here shape normal or shape vector whatever you want to use now these are all facing the same axis and then i will rotate it 25 here we want this axis and i think these coils are too much i think this much is enough or maybe that would be and i'll decrease or uh, maybe let me adjust things maybe this much and height maybe actually it's about height and size that i'll just use one okay let me just check here okay so these are this is so we can change the height from here also we can just make this zero and then we can just adjust this so let me check if this fits and size of my fx it should be on zero here on the ground and height is too much so maybe 300 is enough yeah okay so let me put it on zero okay now we will fix it later so now the rotation so first thing these are too many let's make it like 30 okay and these are all facing normal so now these are all facing normals so we will turn on our this rotation again which has this alternative thing but the spawn count here is 30 so we will make here 30 okay it's not working the way it should let me check so if i make this
it's all about the correct axis actually let me check shape normals actually yeah shape normal working fine okay so it's working now we can turn this on we have alternative rotation but we want a little bit more uh, on this yeah now we have our chain perfectly now here you can just adjust slender for now although you can adjust the chain if you want so you have chain around your Blender, whatever, or uh, you can just change your it is fine. Let me copy the value. You can make more coils, and then you have to make this like 50, 60, uh, 65, and then you have to make here also 65. Cool. So you have three. So this is how you make a mesh chain. Okay then i'll you can just add a sprite render here if you want or you can just duplicate this whole thing change this delete this and take the sprite and just take the material like flash let me just search i don't want to make again the same material like this let me show you the material it's quite simple i have a separate tutorial on this if you want just search the flash material in my tutorial so this looks cool it just uh, created with noise texture in a radial so i'll just browse this and i'll just replace it here let me check if it has dynamic parameter no okay and then i'll change the size random I'll make it one, maybe two, or random, whatever. Cool. And then, of course, you can put something on the ground. So I'll just copy this one more time. This time, I'll delete all these things. I just want one particle, and it should be a ring. So let me just search. I have these which I can put so let me just check if I have a material using this texture I have not this one I'll use another one yeah I have these materials so I'll just use this one let me show you how I create material very simple material because texture has three channels so i'm just adding these together so i'll just use this here make the size big and this is camera facing so use custom alignment custom facing vector and then here align to mesh orientation and instead of x take the z axis and that's it i'll make it a little more bigger and that's it cool if you want you can add lights here if i add light render um, maybe 5 3, 20 let me increase it let me check how much yeah see so use this so this is it i hope you liked it i hope you learned something new in this one so thanks for watching keep learning bye bye let's make a change and i'll just go to the flash material and just add that although this material may be using in other effects i should have duplicated it but it's okay i will revert it so this is it thanks for watching keep learning bye, -bye.